Hello guys, in today's video we're going to be installing macOS High Sierra on an unsupported iMac 7.1 2007 model. And uh, the first thing you're going to need to do this is uh, a copy of my friend Dusty One's High Sierra Patcher Tool, which is right here on his webpage at dustyone.com slash high sierra. And he runs you through the process of everything right here, all the way through the page. And, um, and I'm going to decide I was going to demonstrate how to do it to make things a little bit easier if you guys need any help. Um, so uh, this is on a uh, 7 comma 1 iMac that requires, in order to do the upgrade to the High Sierra, you're going to have to update your processor, which I did in a previous video, to uh, 2.5 gigahertz Intel. Uh, uh, Core 2 Duo, it's, and, it's, uh, and I chose the T9300 version of it, which for some reason it only detects as a 400 megahertz, but I did test it and it is confirming running at 2.5 gigahertz. So yeah, in order to get started with this patch on, a, on, on this iMac, you're going to need a couple of things. Like I demonstrated, you're going to need his uh, Sierra patch tool, which is right here. The current version is 2.40 as recording of this video, and uh, you're gonna need a USB drive, a USB drive that's at least eight gigabytes in size. And but I chose a little bit easier way. I decided to use an external hard drive that I already have it uh, installed on. But uh, I will demonstrate how to do it right now using the uh, High Sierra Patcher. So we open that up. Sometimes, at first launch, you're going to have to click right here and click open, and it'll come up with another window saying open it, because it sometimes has a little bit of trouble verifying, but it works. And, uh, you're going to click browse here, and you're going to, uh, click on your, uh, you're going to, have to download a copy of High Sierra, which is our, which you can do right here in the patch tool itself by going to tools and downloading Mac OS High Sierra and like putting a place where you want to download it. So I chose the desktop and here it is and then you after you verified it like I just did you just select your source drive where you want it to go and I've already put mine on the High Sierra drive and you're gonna hit start operation and what that'll do is it'll create the drive for, for booting and uh, I'll show you how to do that next in the next part, so I'll be right back. After the drive completes and it's gonna and you reboot, you're gonna hold down the option key when you're starting up your, your 7 comma 1 iMac here and uh, wait on it to load your drives as it does here. And you're gonna know because mine's gonna be a little bit different than what you have because uh, I have a hard drive going here with the install on it. So, uh, yeah, I have every version of OS X dating all the way back to Tiger. Anyways, um, what you're going to do there is uh, we're going to boot your High Sierra USB drive, like demonstrated, and uh, let it boot up, and I'll be right back. After you, it boots up successfully, you're going to be greeted with this screen. This is going to be a macOS installer. So you're going to go into your uh, disk utility. And uh, you're going to select your drive, as mine is demonstrated by Macintosh HD, and you're going to click Erase and uh, Erase the Drive. But I'm not going to do that because I already have a, an install I want to keep on there. So uh, you're going to click X on that, and uh, after it gets done formatting, or if you don't want to, and just go ahead and upgrade from your old version to OS X, you can, you can skip the disk utility part and click Continue, and agree to the license agreement here and uh, click on your drive and click continue and it will install Mac OS X on the on High Sierra on the on hard disk. And then after it gets done booting or installing, it'll ask you to restart and then it'll bring up a uh, no question mark if you leave it, if you, didn't, if you don't boot back up again. So you gotta boot back up into the installer again after it says it's complete. And you're going to uh, hit the Mac OS post install tool located in the uh, down here on the uh, utilities box here and then you're going to select the model of your Mac which mine is a iMac 7.1 2007 model and you're going to just leave all this stuff here or if you really want to recover uh, patch your recovery partition too and you can uh, select your volume which mine is Macintosh HD and you can click patch 
it'll uh, patch the the all the the tech the text and uh, make them uh, so they'll be supported with this machine. So uh, after you patch it, you're going to uh, uh, reboot again, and uh, you'll be greeted with setup of the macOS High Sierra and set up your stuff and you type in all your information like your Apple ID and your account information and uh, you log in and you'll be in macOS High Sierra so I'll be right back in High Sierra. So after uh, getting all your setup complete with your Apple ID and everything you should be greeted back at the uh, OS 10 desktop here with a uh, fresh clean install of a Mac OS High Sierra. And uh, and everything should work normally. You you go you should get your App Store updates just fine as it was like on the support of it on El Capitan and older, so it should work fine. And uh, in the in the patch tool there is a uh, new thing here called the patch updater which will allow you to uh, install, it'll, it'll uh, give you these patches so that'll fix some stuff with the machine that'll make it work normally again. Like for instance, I had to install the backlight control patch from my keyboard because it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. And uh, the night shift patch, which is for the night shift mode. And you get your software update patch, which will allow, like I said, the app store to work. And you get your patch updater, which is at version 3, which is this. So, uh, anyways, that's how you go out and install macOS High Sierra on a unsupported iMac 7.1 2007 model. Um, thank you for watching.